The final in game one of the Cape League Championship Series, Harwich 7, Bourne 3. Welcome to Post Game Tomahawk Talk. I'm Adam Gacken alongside Nathan Schwartz and Cam Manna. And Nathan, a rough one tonight and a game that we haven't really seen much of from Bourne all this season. This is very reminiscent of the Bourne we saw to start the season. Pathetic effort, first of all. This team was not running out to first base on a lot of ground balls at the end of the game. They were beating themselves, swinging in 3 0 counts at the beginning of the game with two runners in scoring position. The situational awareness was not there. This team showed up flat. They seemed like they didn't even want to be here, and that showed. And something that we also saw in this game, Cam, pitching wise, is a big inning for the opposing team. Really, we haven't seen that much this season, especially as of late, but today, Harwich puts up a crooked number, and there was really no responding after that. In 20 of the last 23 games, as Brave staff was holding teams to four runs or less, seven three runs there, a five spot in that one inning, and that was the difference. And Bourne's done a good job playing damage control, but not here tonight. Preston Prince, though, does settle things down. We saw the four consecutive punch outs for him late in that game. He brought some life and kept the Braves back in the game. Probably one of the only guys to bring some life to this Bourne Braves squad who we just talked about it. Lack of life, lack of motivation. Harwich wanted it more than the Braves, and that's the bottom line. And if there's one thing to give you maybe some hope moving forward, it's that last series, Bourne drops game one to Katuit and then comes back. If you go back to last year's final, Orleans wins game two after losing game one. So this is not at all over, Nathan. Bourne is 9-1 in elimination games in the last four years, 3-0 in just this postseason. So this series is far from over, but it's going to have to take a big shift from the effort we saw today to tomorrow. And now you got to go on the road to try and keep your season alive. Game two tomorrow at White House Field. We'll see you in Harwich.